if if, if they're to you know if you read Brian Murarescu's work and if he's correct and these people that are studying the Eleusinian mysteries and the, the literal emergence of democracy as we know it, probably all of it came out of psychedelic experiences. So I had Timothy Leary's old job at Harvard. That comes with a lot of weight. <laughs> yeah, and I knew some of the people that knew him. And so you could say that what happened in the 1960s, and this is relevant to the psychedelic experience, let's say, is that the emergence of mushrooms in particular and then LSD indicated to a swath of the population like Leary and like Ken Casey that our perceptions were locked in kind of a box, in a, in a box that we didn't even really, that we weren't even conscious of. I suppose that's the box of conformity. And the psychedelics released a wave of nonconformity. And Leary crystallized that with his tune in, turn on and drop out. Hmm. Now, there was a major problem with that and that was partly what led to the kickback. So you might say that the first stage of something approximating a religious revelation is the understanding that your perceptions have been um, constrained by forms of conformity that, who, that were so extensive that you didn't even understand them.